start my part of the introduction to knowledge based design. Hello everyone, my name is Yangi Kim. So following professor's presentation, I will proceed with the, the backside of this subject. <coughs> so there are two chapters and the first one is I can see first one is the nature of design and second one is model of design. So uh, the first chapter is too short because the most of them uh, most of them is uh, explained by professor. So I explain some some two or three slides. And the uh, next one is the model of design. In that chapters I explain explain the uh, the, the sequence of the design, yeah. And this is the sub contents. The in the nature of design part, I explain the why design is ill, Ill structured, and what is the meta science. Because the the final <coughs> of these chapters we. Uh, compare <coughs> compare with the uh, science and design. So finally, I made some comparison table. So generally, there is no exact solution or uh, exact solution or process in the design. But but maybe uh, there is a good or the efficient design can do that. But and because the professor said design is a goal directed activity so <coughs> sometimes the the process is uh, not important the goal is important so in in the design the there is no the exact solution so um, so it means that the any starting point is a variable and the starting point is determined by designer. So designers need to either develop new method to their the project or choose the appropriate method from the previous experience. So the general way to design uh, to make a design, the top-down approach and bottom-up approach. So I briefly explain the top-down and bottom-up approach. In top-down approach, designers already know what is the problem, how to solve the problem. So they start from a general view of the process and uh, divide the process and then solve the problem, the minimal problem. It is suitable for the large scale company. <coughs> and it based on the, the, <coughs> the perspective of the subject matter expert who has a high level understanding of entire the problem. That is the basic uh, theory or explain, explanation of top-down approach. The second one is bottom-up approach. The uh, bottom-up approach is the piecing together of system to give uh, to give rise to more complex system. Thus, the making the original, original system, subsystems of the emergent system. So the easy example is the when you make when you make a robot by using clay, clay. So bottom up approach is you make some part of clay, uh, part of 
uh, you firstly make a part, the arms and legs, head, body, and then assembly it. And finally you can get some robot. But in top-down top -down approach, you have a large clay and then you remove some the uh, unused the part and then you finally you make some a uh, model or some lower this is difference of the bottom up and top down approach so in this slide i explain the meta science actually i read the professor's material and i i didn't fully understand of why this subject in this life so and finally i think the the because the uh, the compare it compare with the science and design because the science and design is process is similar but the target is different so i think he a professor insert this slide so and uh, in the the previous slide uh, in professor's presentation he professor explained what is the design and also uh, yeah what is yang Mm, so the beta science make uh, make predictions by the existing and new application of theory. So the prediction process belong to a process of deduction that is the logically ordered. I think the deduction is important. And in the science field they they think they think uh, important thing is the how we arrive at the theory in the first time i think how is important not the goal how so the process by which the theories are derived by derived is similar to the process by which we produce the design. So this is the example of the deduction, the Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Because Kepler uh, also analyzed the existing data, the which is observed by Tycho Brahe. He, Tycho Brahe observed some the motion of the plant, uh, the whole life, his whole life. So by using by using it, the Kepler published the laws of plant motion. And then, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he derived the laws of planetary motion through logical inference instead of observation experience. The observation experience is Tycho, Tycho Frahe's job. The Kepler is just the, the analyze that data and uh, how, how explain that motion. And then he published his law. And also the Isaac Newton also used the Kepler's laws and his own on laws, the laws of motion, to drive the laws of universal gravity through so the same process as Kepler. So that is the, I think that is the science, the biological process. They get some some theory or some goal. And so, how a theory is formed? The Karl Popper, who is a uh, philosopher in England, he said, science begins with a 
problem. And the problem is a phenomena, especially, I think, the natural phenomena, to be explained by some theory. So to, to explain or to solve the problem, they, uh, they make a hypothesis or conjecture. It, uh, yeah, they make to solve the problem. And uh, if there is no problem or the reputation the in conjecture, scientific community accept it is uh, it that uh, accept it the theory or hypothesis I uh, sorry, sorry hypothesis or conjecture as a theory. So the example of is Einstein's theory of relativity that is currently that is uh, good theory but we don't know the in the future the some the some phenomena or some theory attack that the Einstein's theory of relativity so that so I surveyed the difference of laws the theories and principle. So laws is can explain the the universal size size. And uh, theory is the not uh, not accept uh, not explain the uh, uh, I I can explain the more details. So, law is a universal principle that describes the fundamental nature of something. And the theory is a well sustained explanation of some aspect of nature, natural world. And the principle is a basic generalization that you accept as true, that is different of law, theory, and principle. So go to my, uh, and then the theory are therefore currently on hold until they are some, uh, uh, they, uh, someone found lacking which create another problem. So the meta science or science, the is well, one of the trial error because a design conjecture is generated to find uh, to solve some problem then someone found unsatisfactory in original design and the, the original uh, the first uh, first one or another guy make a new conjecture that is the iterative process. So science, in the science field, the trial and error, I uh, use the trial and error process. So I make some, the simple comparison table, science and design. Uh, in tag aspect of target, the science focus on the nature things, the light, uh, I think the uh, nature things and design is focused on the artifact, the engineering or some architectures and to help uh, people. And purpose is the science is generalization and design is specialization. And finally, the aspect of goal, the science is understand the, the universe and design is the make a better life for human. And this is the, the difference of them. And, but both are the similar process to solve the problem. So to solve the problem, the, they are two major approaches, a case study approach and make a, make a model. 
case study is, uh, as you know, reference the previous experience. This is case study. And model approach is model limited abstraction of particular phenomena less than theory because the theory attempt to observe the phenomena and predict behavior that are connected how uh, somehow so uh, yeah so that is different of the, the theory and models the example of model is a wave model and a particle model for behavior of light. And second one is the models of design part. There are three design phases to design something. The analysis, synthesis, evaluation. The analysis is aimed to find the appropriate solution and gather information from customer or owners or other people. Second phase is synthesis. Designer strive to find the best solution, find the best solution for target problem. The last phase is evaluation. In the evaluation phase, the performance evaluation is conducted to improve the solution. So analysis is the find appropriate solution and synthesis is the find best solution. Evaluation is to improve solution. That is different of three. And this is the, the figure of the goal decomposition. It is, I think it is the similar to the top-down approach. The, we have a goal the final goal and we divide divide some divide goal into some other sub items. In this figure, the accommodation for family in this function divided by physical control and economy and function. Functions also divided eating and sleeping and well, living or other things. And then the the minimal goal of, we can solve the minimal goal firstly and this is the design process the design process is the there are two types sequencer and sequential and cyclic the sequencer uh, almost the generally in design process the, there are uh, there is a big process in this figure the the big boxes has big box is the sequencer the process the analysis and synthesis evaluation but in the synthesis phases they uh, also have the sequencer the process and then start from analysis to evaluation if the perform evaluation of uh, performance evaluation is bad and go to the go to the, the analysis process the import the important thing is each cycle is progressively more detailed the example of the this design process is ship design spider this is the last slide so as you can see the more times this figure the started from the top of point and go to go to the the goal the design is more detailed detailed so this times times is up and this is last slide thank you is there a question What is meta science? So, I understand. I understand. Actually, I think similar to science and meta science.
but meta science is more core science, I think. I think part of science. Meta means something one level higher than so meta science is a science of science. How do we do science? Metaphysics. Meta something. But metadata is the some base of the data for the the other ones. Data of data. Something which is used for organizing data. One level higher than the other one. The data of data. Similarity between the diamonds. 